I'm sure by now the majority of you guys have heard at least something about this. Mattel has announced they're going to be making three different types of Bobby dolls to add to the collection. Tall, petite, and curvy. And I'll post some links to some articles down in the info section below for you guys to check out. And it probably would have been a really good idea for some of the radio talk show hosts that I heard discussing this over the weekend to do a tiny, maybe five seconds of research before they started talking about how Mattel is making the fat Barbie doll and dad bod Ken doll, which is totally not true and has nothing to do with the reasons why Mattel has decided to make these changes. But you know, the talk show radio hosts, what are you going to do? With this video, I really want to open it up to discussion and debate because there are some things in here that I think that we can discuss in the comment section to really see what's going on with you know kids in general and just the psyche of a child and what's really happening and what's changed from today to 50 years ago, all right? But before we get into that, a couple facts for you guys. This isn't anything new. There are already dolls out there, like the Lamely doll, which we'll talk about a bit more in a minute, that do have more realistic um, body features, all right? And the only reason why Mattel is so late to the game is because they've always just kind of held their ground and they're like, we're not changing our doll. We don't believe that you know, the majority of children are having eating disorders and body image issues because of how Bobby looks, because Bobby's been around for a very long time and you know, the, maybe there are some cases where kids do have unrealistic expectations because of their doll, but I think that has more to do with parents not educating their kids on this is just a toy, you know? But that's my personal opinion on it. However, since Mattel has been losing money since almost 2012 to 2013, and obviously to today, sales have been down like 14%. Like I was reading these different statistics, um, statistics online you know, it makes sense that now they want to get, you know, with the program and change up their lineup because any business that doesn't stay relevant is going to lose money and eventually go out of business. And so Mattel's like, all right, you know, I guess we can't put our foot down anymore because we're losing a lot of money. We're not connecting with this new generation, this younger generation of kids. And so the Lamely doll, which I mentioned, is a doll that basically looks like the average 19 year old girl. And I'm gonna post a link down in the info section below to an article that has a video and I want you guys to watch it. And it shows kids playing with the Lamely doll and they're sitting at a desk and they have the Bobby and the Lamely and they're comparing them. And they're talking about what they like and what they don't like. And it's not all just body features that they're comparing here. They're kids actually talking about toys and reasons why they like them, you know? So for example, we'll talk about we'll, we'll talk about the body features first. A lot of the kids talked about how the Lamely doll looks like someone they know. She looks like my sister. She looks like my sister. From the side, she really looks like her. She kind of looks like my Aunt Katie. Because it looks like a real person, where the Bobby doll doesn't look like a real person. And so the kids were excited because they're like, this doll looks like my sister, or this doll looks like my mom, or this doll looks like my aunt. And so instantly that child is already creating a bigger connection with that doll just because it looks like someone they know. So when they go to the store and they want to pick a doll out and they're looking at all the dolls on the wall, you know, maybe all the Bobbies look cool and they have, you know, a mansion and a Corvette and an astronaut suit and there's President Barbie and there's all these, you know, different things. None of those toys look like anyone they can relate to and they want to relate to someone. We live in the world of social media, you know, you get kids as young as four playing on iPhones and iPads, you know, like kids are tuned in to what's going on in this world a lot more than they were before. And for a lot of kids, they just want to have a toy that they can really relate to and play with and imagine with. And in my opinion, girls do connect more with toys than boys do. So if a little girl can pick up a doll that looks like their sister and their sister's away or older or at school, they can pretend they're playing with their sister. And that's gonna go a long way with obviously with figuring out which doll this little kid wants to buy. And let's talk about boys for a second. Boys don't care what their toys look like as long as their toys look cool. I mean, let's, th let's think about this. There were some funny comments I read online where 
Someone said they're not gonna let their son play with Legos anymore because they might have a body image issue and think they have to grow up to have a cubed body and a cylinder shaped head and yellow skin, you know? I didn't grow up thinking that I needed to be a Ninja Turtle or green, but I love playing with Ninja Turtles. But when boys play with toys, it's more or less because they're from a TV show that we like or we can make them fight each other. I mean, that's basically all I did, I made my toys fight each other. I'm not saying that I am like every other little boy growing up, but the majority of boys that I have seen usually like to play with G.I. Joes and Ninja Turtles or X-Men or Legos and all these different toys, and we just make, we just play with them. We just make them fight each other or create scenarios or whatever, you know? We're not dressing them. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. We're not taking these toys and undressing them and redressing them and trying to make them look like someone we know or trying to make them look like us, you know? Where with a little girl, you know, even Erica growing up. Erica, Erica's from Brazil, okay? And when I, we were talking about this topic, she's like, I had Barbie dolls growing up and I never felt like I needed to look like that doll. I never thought I had to have an eating disorder or I, I never developed an eating disorder thinking it had to be really skinny. You know, I just like to play with my dolls, dress them and brush their hair. And for those of you who don't know the Brazilian culture, go look up carnival pictures, okay? If you look at the Brazilian women, you'll probably not find one that looks like a Barbie doll, okay? Women are a bit fuller in Brazil, which is why I married a Brazilian, but we won't talk about that. We'll stick to this video. So going back to the Lamely doll, you know, aside from being able to relate to it, they were also talking about the features of the doll, how they could actually play with it a bit better because the legs would open, how the toes looked more realistic, how the hair was softer. And so they're talking about not only how they can relate to that doll a bit better, but they're talking about how they like the features of that doll better when compared to the Bobby doll, which is, you know, just a plastic doll. There's no individual toes. You know, the hair is usually all the same. I mean, I'm, not, I'm just I'm not speaking from experience. I don't play with Bobby dolls, but I have seen a few, you know. One girl was talking about how the arms on the Bobby doll are so thin and long, which looks weird compared to the other doll that she is now related to, you know? And for a lot of kids growing up, when they go to the toy store, the first doll that they might see might not be a Bobby doll, especially if their parents aren't buying them for them. So this change that Mattel is making to go from their traditional style Bobby doll to do tall, petite, and curvy is really just their way of catching up with all the other companies that are already doing that and are starting to reclaim the market for themselves so that they can make money and grow their businesses. And if Mattel wants to stay on top and they wanna be able to continue to introduce their dolls to young kids, then that's what they're gonna to have to do. And it just comes down to a business running a business. You know, If you don't change and you don't keep up with the times, you are gonna lose out on a lot of money and possibly go out of business. So now I wanna hear from you. I wanna wrap this video up and I wanna leave you guys with a few questions that I would like for you to answer in the comment section below. Number one, do you guys really think that a doll is going to have such an impression on a young girl to give her body image issues where she's gonna develop you know, some kind of eating disorder or you know, body image issue that's gonna affect her life growing up? Or do you think that the only time that really happens with kids is when parents don't take the time to actually relate to their children and let them know that this is what a person looks like and your dolls are just fun toys to play with and dress up and have fun with. That's all it is, it's just a toy, you know? So it comes down to, is it the parent not doing their job or is the doll really having this effect or is it a little bit of both? And number two, do you guys think that maybe in general toy companies should start to phase out the old school, you know, unrealistic body type Barbie doll and just focus on making dolls that are more relatable to kids like the Lamely doll? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and be sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below because I'd love to debate with you guys on this topic. Hope you have a great week and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. If you're looking for a website that lets you build your own profile, interact with other community members, log your daily meal plan and add your own custom foods, find the exact routines you're looking for to reach your goals on a weekly basis, new recipe ideas to help improve your meal plan, and you enjoy learning new things to take your workouts to the next level, join MuscularStrength.com. What's your maximum output?